Hey, Steve Zook. Welcome back to Folks Switch Channel. Hey, I just changed strings on this really cool classic vibe. I don't get a lot of these in because, uh, you know, I have to really love the guitar. And uh, But every time I've had one of these, uh, boy, I, these are really are nice. I think these are sleepers, man. These are going to be worth some money someday. This solid pine body is very, very resonant. This one has a little kind of, you know, funk here. It might, might be able to get cleaned off, might not. The body looks really good, though. I don't see any gigs or anything, but... It really sounds good. I just put some new strings on. All I had laying around was nines. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh, you know, I found a little trick, too. I'm, I'm not the most mechanical guy in the world. I'm pretty good with stereo gear and recording gear and things like that. But I found a little trick when, you know, with these, it can be very tricky putting strings on with these little slots on the top. What I found is you stick the, the, you know, stick the string down as, all the way as far as you can. And then um, you go to, the, you, you try to wrap it around, you know, uh, wrap it around a little bit, like around the, the, this barrel, wrap it around the barrel a little, a little bit, right from the get-go. So go in as far as you can, and then actually wrap it around the barrel and get the string down real low on the barrel and hold it tight right there. I've seen people, some people in videos say, just, you know, push right here. But if you put the string all the way down and then kind of pull it, pull it around a little bit so it starts to go around this barrel, and then, you know, keep the tension on it. It, it really made it, so, it, it was the easiest I've ever changed these strings in my life. I couldn't believe it. This is a nice guitar. It comes with a, a tweed case. The case has a few little bubbles in it. But uh, I'll, I'll do this guitar with the tweed case and a really fancy, um, a really fancy, uh, really fancy now this actually has strap locks on it but it's still really cool and I'll throw it in you know if you can you could use it on you could you know put strap locks on this guitar use a different I'll just throw it in I just feel like being close I, I, I can do this guitar with this fancy uh, strap leather strap with you know fancy stuff on it and the tweed case it is the whole thing for four and a quarter I'd prefer you sh you know send that to me like as a friend on PayPal so I don't eat the PayPal fee you need to pay some shipping, but uh, yeah, the tweed case is nice. It's got the leather on both sides and everything. But yeah, th these these are great guitars, man. I mean, I always really miss these. And these are with nines on here. So you can hear how much tone it has even with nines. I'm not very warmed up. Now, some people have emailed me and said, hey, either play or don't play, but don't talk about being warmed up or not warmed up. The reason I, I mention I'm not warmed up is I think it's educational to people, you know? It takes me 45 minutes to warm up, and I sit there, do kind of pseudo-chromatic stuff. Uh, but it takes me, it takes me a long time to warm up, and I just don't always have the time to do that. I think I'd put tens on this guitar if I was going to keep it. But um, yeah, it really sounds good, man. These strings are gonna stretch. Stretch like heck. The back pick up it. See, that string just went out a little bit. This is the new strings. Just put them on five minutes ago. Yeah, these guitars rock, man. The solid pine body and the maple neck and everything. I mean, this. This is going to be collectible someday. I'd love to buy two or three of them, really. Just a gorgeous tone. and uh, I'm using a solid state amp as well. Nothing, nothing. You know, I paid 150 bucks for it. But uh, just, I always like to do a little free, but this is available. I'm really going to miss this. I'll go four and a quarter with the, uh, I was gonna sell the, the, the case separately for like 90 bucks. I'll just go four and a quarter, I'll throw in the tweed case. It's got the leather on both sides of the case. It's got, like I said, it's got a few little places where there's a little couple, few bubbles coming up. But it's a very, very solid case. I'll even throw in that fancy uh, strap I just showed you, which, it, which does have strap lock. So if you wanna use it on this guitar, you'll have to change something out, but you could always use it on something else or whatever you wanna do. Um, I do all that for four and a quarter. I'd prefer you just send me the money like as a friend from PayPal or slop it in my Wells Fargo account. So I don't have to pay the PayPal fee because I, I drove a long ways to get this guitar. I really did. It didn't, wasn't, it wasn't around the block. I guess if I was going to keep this, I would.
would go with like maybe tens, you know? But uh, it really sounds good. <laughs> But anyway, I, I always like to do just a little bit of instruction. Um, fluidity, man. Fluidity is a huge one, you know what I mean? Because I see people, and I'm guilty of it too once in a while. You know, sometimes people, we all want to play a million miles an hour. But being fluid. <laughs> learning to be fluid. Like here, I'm using, the, I'm using a minor 7 uh, arpeggio. Like I said, the, the, I'm not even going to fight these strings because I just put them on a little bit ago. But anyway, uh, doing like the polychord. So, you know, if you're working off an A minor pentatonic, you can come up to the, you know, the C major, which is a polychord. If you hum this, you know, it, it, it's a pop. This is a polychord. It's a skeleton throw up. So when you're doing a minor uh, arpeggio, you can then come down the polychord, which is C major 7. So that's why you always see me do things like this. Okay, and you could also go the other way. The polychord of this would be, would be the, the F major 7. Or you could use that, you know, Yeah, these strings, like I said, I just put these on five minutes ago. So we're getting some stretch here. But man, this is a nice guitar. I would probably put tens on here, like I said, but yeah, it sounds incredible with even nines. And I barely have my amp up. Just, I mean, I hardly have this working at all so I could come up a little bit and you could hear even more tone but man I, I love these man I'm always a little bummed when I sell them but you know if somebody cool gets it then I feel better about it system works folks I know I know I can get pretty aggressive about talking about it but don't overthink it it works you know you get a six-year membership for 199 you can learn all kinds of chord cycles yes I do divvy out the information one lesson at a time because if I said it all at once it'd be overwhelming you'd probably pick the wrong stuff plus it helps me to keep my cost down to be real straight it helps me keep my cost down and all you have to do is make a little folder just right click on your desktop call it like you know a GL you know guitar ladder folder and every time I send you an assignment, schlock, just drag it into that folder after it downloads to you, the, the video downloads to your desktop. If you lose one, email me, I'll send you another one. It's no big deal. But right now, you're going to get two free years. So you get um, a six year membership for only $1.99. It's a killer deal. I, really, I mean, if those were private lessons, it'd be four grand to stuff easy. And really, the key uh, learning chords, learning about tension and resolution, and learning the 10 systems of improvisation, and this all happens subconsciously. I don't get into big, huge, complicated theory raps. I don't believe in that. I do a little bit of theory, but I mean, learning uh, to do chordal work is really where the true growth, you, it's just gonna really wake up your musical ear. And even if you're not worried or concerned about learning to write your own stuff, or, or, or maybe it felt, makes you feel uncomfortable that when I talk about waking up the musical genius with, within you, then don't worry about that. If it happens, you're gonna love it. But even if you just want to look at it this way, just get more out of your practice time for the 45 minutes or an hour a day that you spend practicing. I'm not talking playing, but practicing. Why not get the most out of that possible? And if you work on, on the right material, uh, you are going to get a ton more out of your practice time. It's, it's really true. So, you know, it, it works, you know. But anyway, um, so this guitar is available. It's a sweetie, man. I, I really like it. These are nice. 
strings are stretching a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, partials are cool, man. Learning a bit. That's why the guitar ladder system is so powerful. You're going you're gonna to learn all these little ways to, to be musical. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is a bad guitar though, man. It really has a sound. I barely have this up too. I just love the clean on this, man. Seems like I have the overdrive channel much lower, don't I? I know. But anyway, um, let me. Do, I'll just do one more quick. I do two long videos. I realize that. That's a solid state amp, by the way. You can hear that. Yeah, these these are nines. I think I'd like to put tens on this guitar. But anyway, I better stop so this downloads. But this is a sweet box, man. Like I said, body looks great. It's just got a little bit of discoloration in the metal right here, and maybe a little bit on the pickup. It might be able to be cleaned. It might not. I don't know. It's just a killer guitar. So $425, and I'll throw in the nice $90 tweed case with leather on both sides of the case. It looks great. Like I said, it's got a few little bubbles popping up in it. I'll throw in this really deluxe strap here. But where to go? Well, I already showed it. And uh, yeah, these these classic these classic vibe guitars are really really nice, man. They just sound unbelievable. So you can email me at stevezook the number seven at yahoo.com. Not spelled out, just S T E V E Z O O K number seven at yahoo.com or uh or call me 714-548-038 but it's a killer guitar i'm really gonna miss it but anyway it's a beauty it's barely been played there's like tons of fret it's hardly been played at all i don't even think it's been played more than an hour or two all right take care